In this quick lesson, we're going to look at a brand new photo effects and editing app from MacFun called Luminar. Some of you may have already used Intensify. Luminar is kind of the next generation of Intensify. So in this quick lesson, we're going to go over three key features of Luminar. Presets, workspaces, and filters. We'll cover what each of these are and how they work with each other. Let's start with presets. These are presented at the bottom of the Luminar window. If you've used Mac Fun apps in the past, you'll probably recognize this. Just click on a preset to apply it to the image. Use the opacity slider within the preset to dial back its effect. Click the star button here to make this a favorite preset. Click the basic button over to the right to browse more collections of presets. And in the sidebar here, we have a list of filters. As I click on different presets, the filters presented in the sidebar and which sliders are utilized changes. So presets just contain certain filters that are already adjusted to apply a certain look. With a preset applied, I can still adjust any of these filters on my own. Scroll to the bottom here, and we can add another filter. I'll add vignette, and now that can be applied to the image. If I like this mix of filters enough, I could make my own preset from it by clicking here. I'll name this Vivid Landscape Vignette. This will now be available here in my user presets. So filters are all the different effects and adjustment tools available in Luminar. And presets are the results of certain combinations of applied filters. A workspace is also like a preset in that it's a set of different filters. But in a workspace, the filters have not yet been applied. So if I change to the landscape workspace, we go back to the original image because none of the filters in the landscape workspace have been adjusted. I'm going to click here to hide the presets. Using a workspace lets me start from scratch with a group of filters that I want to work with. So we can go through here and adjust these filters to apply the exact look to the photo that I want. And just like with presets, we can add other filters. When I do that, the workspace changes to custom. So if I decide to add another filter, and then remove one that's here already by clicking the red X at the bottom, we can then save this as a new workspace. If I bring in a new image now, I can jump right into my saved workspace and start applying filters. So that's a quick look at how presets, workspaces, and filters work in Luminar. Look for more quick lessons on Luminar in the coming weeks. And if you'd be interested in a full tutorial for Luminar, let me know via email. Click the link below to download a free trial and start seeing what you can do in Luminar. Thanks for watching.